Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Storybook Brawl, a free-to-play card-based auto battler, very much in the realms of a Hearthstone Battlegrounds kind of experience, but with enough of its own DNA and formula shakeups to really stand out as its own thing as well. So we're going to be going here, we're going to do practice with bots, it's just the same thing we're going to be playing against bots so that we can really be at our own pace here. Uh, let's see, who do we want to play? Uh, so, so basically, we will get into the, the core, like, gameplay. If you've not seen anything of, like, Hearthstone Battlegrounds or anything, there's gonna be a lot here for you to, to pick up, and I'll do my best to, to explain here. But what do we want to pick? We can take all the time in the world, because we're not playing against real people. Uh, you know, let's get a little bit of... Let's play as the Celestial Tiger. You may notice, like, the storybook brawl, it, it's very much a nod to the uh, the worlds that it takes from. It's very much like a storybook fantasy kind of a, a, a realm here. So, <laughs> a couple things here. We've got ourselves some cards that we can pick up, and they are going to go in, and they are going to completely auto-battle against another enemy here that we will be facing. We've got two gold each round we go through. We get an extra gold to uh, to spend here. Uh, a big thing for those who do know about Hearthstone Battlegrounds, some of the big key shakeups that you can figure out like right now uh, are the inclusion of spells being in every shop, uh, being able to shake up a lot of stuff. There's treasure passives that will shake up a ton as well. And then also we have completely two layers that we uh, we can place our units in. The front line is the first priority, like the front units will attack the front units, and then the back units will be protected a little bit more, uh, in addition to positional beneficial units that can support the front line. So if you're somebody who knows about Hearthstone Battleground stuff, just wants a, little, wants a quick rundown of some of the big key features that are differential in that way. So, what do we got here? So, double the abilities of your level two and three treasures. Treasures are something that you get. There's a couple ways you can get them. Uh, but one of the m main components that will generate you treasures is if you get enough of the same unit that it'll combine. Uh, so if we get three of the same unit, it will level up into a an upgraded version of the unit. And you will be able to pick a treasure of basically of the rarity of that unit. So since this is a like a two rarity unit, these are all two rarity. You can see up there. If they combine, we will get to pick a treasure that is of a level 2 quality. So, for now, let's just brawl. Fighting freaking Krampus. All your evil characters get plus 1, plus 1. We lost this virtual. I, I totally kind of figured we might. Uh, <laughs> kind of figured we might. But some of the stuff can get incredibly nutty in this game to a very, very fun degree. Uh, but what do we have here? We have Last Breath. So, when this dies, summon a 1-1 one, one cat. Uh, not right now. There, so there's like, there's all kinds of different builds you can go for. They, we could go for a dwarf build quest, cast five spells. So this is another way that you can generate treasures, which are, as I mentioned, is the, uh, basically your passive items that upgrade everything that you can do. We, we are going to care about that a lot. So as a result, maybe we will actually take this Cinderella, non nondescript Cinderella, uh, but... Quest casts five spells. So if we cast five spells, we will get a treasure as well. That is another way we can get a treasure. And it would be, I think it would be a level two treasure, which is something that we care about since level two and three treasures are, are duplicated there. But we'll cast this spell right here. Get a random character of your level, which is, I guess, two. And then, wait. Oh, only if we win. Ah, eh, well, truth be told, we're probably not going to win. We don't really have a very good board. No, sir. No, we do not. It's okay. Uh, you can't keep your gold, so the fact is we gain benefit from uh, from spending the spell anyways for this quest. All right, what the hell do we go for? Slay. I transform into a character that is one level higher than your hero. So you transform into a level three character. That's not really that big of a deal to me right now, I don't think. Um... Your other evil characters gain an attack. We don't have other evil characters right now. Hmm. 
You know what? Let's do it. Let's get you, and then we'll put you back here. Sure, why not? Uh, Because, yeah, anybody in the back is going to be attacked. Uh, why would I do this? I would do this literally just to cast another, another spell. I don't think it's a good call. I don't want to take... I don't want to take two damage just for the hell of it. Hello, Granny. Oh, you're... Oh, Granny, you are... You are not doing very well right now, Granny. I am so sorry. Okay, what do we got? Get a random character from the shop and give it plus one, plus one permanently. That sounds like a good enough idea. So what do we have here? We've got... The Queen of Hearts. Whenever your one of your evil characters dies, I gain plus two, plus two this brawl. Okay. Evil... Okay, range. Whenever one of your characters triggers a slay ability, I gain plus one, plus one permanently. We don't have anybody with slay right now. Support. So support is what I was talking about, where if we put them behind, the two characters in front of them get supported. Uh, that is a unique benefit of this game. In this genre. Genre. Should we take this, uh, this Minotaur? Let's take the Minotaur. We're one step closer to getting a leveled up Minotaur if we do so. And then let's re-roll, because why not? And actually, you know what? We're going to lock that. We're going to lock that shop for sure. Uh, your evil characters get an extra attack. We'll be able to level him up and get a treasure. He'll get some extra stats as well. Uh, Queen of Hearts. We're going to buy her, and we're going to buy Crafty as well. Can we do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually we won't be able to buy everything. We might... Maybe we'll lock again. Hello, Mrs. Claus. Your good characters have plus one, plus one. A shame, a shame. Uh, not doing so hot. Queen of Hearts, though. Queen of Hearts, though. She's getting beefy. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. I shall take you, I shall level you up, and then get my treasures. So wh whatever the effects of this are doubled. When you lock a tree ant in your shop, permanently double its health next turn. Twice? Wait a minute. That seems big broken. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to buy Crafty, use the cat's call so we can cast another spell... And we will lock the shop again. I, I, I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't, but we're going to do it regardless. How are we going? Okay. I think we're in there. Oh, we're in there. Oh, my God. And <laughs> on top of the fact that we've got all of these here as well. Did they, did they add to the damage? I think that the damage might be related to... Um... Sure. Give a monster plus three, plus three permanently. Okay. Seems good, man. I could do this, or I could try and re-roll and lock a tree if I can get lucky. I did not... I did not get a tree. I feel like Crafty doesn't... We don't really have an idea about what we're doing yet, and I feel like that might be a mistake. I don't quite know what we're doing yet. Oh, you jerk. Oink, oink. Last breath, give your opponent one gold. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oink, oink. Oh, you guys are getting getting wrecked here. All right, so... Ooh. Well, it's not a whole lot of doubling that we're actually going to be doing here. double and then double again. It's not that impressive because it just, at best, it's four. <laughs> That's really not that. It's going to be better on trees that we'll find later. Because some of them can have some pretty nasty HP levels. Get a plain copy of the first enemy that dies. Last breath, summon a sheep. So, I'm, I'm reading Bearded Vulture and this fool right here combining to be pretty decent because we'll even put you on the bench for a second we'll put you here i'm gonna ditch the cinderella yeah 
right, we'll do something like that. Because you get stronger, you get a lot stronger when a, when a, another animal dies. You're a freak, dude. You're a freak. All right, trees? No trees. Anything worth holding on to? Evil monster. So yeah, we're kind of straying towards evil and animals. Oh my god. That was brutal. Oh, it's an evil sheep, too. I didn't even know. That's pretty convenient. Oh my god, you are... You are standing nary a chance, my friends. Ooh, we're getting beefy. Ooh, we're getting beefy. I'm loving what I'm putting out here. Okay. Support plus three health. When I attack a character for... Oh, so, first of all, I will buy you. Transform a good character into a random evil character. A random evil character. Of the same level. You can give it blank, blank permanently. Let's see what this looks like. Because we're going to get our treasure. So this is going to be doubled. Your level three and lower characters have plus one, plus one. So that should be plus two, plus two. You know, I'm going to say sure for now. That, that should be a pretty substantial. Oh, you're not. Should be pretty substantial. And then we can get rid of Cinderella. If we want. Oh, this is a great trick. When one of your characters survives damage, give it one attack permanently. Okay. That's pretty big. Um, I'm going to keep crafty literally just because I want to see if we can... Ah, you know what? Oh, that's, that's good. I want to see if we can get him leveled up to get that treasure. Because we're pretty powerful for... What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, though. That's... Bonkers. Oh my god, but it's a tie. Oh, thank the heavens. How the hell? I thought we locked it. I guess I was wrong. When one of your dwarves die, I gain plus one, plus one permanently. Buy seven dwarves. I feel like the black cat, as low and dinky uh, as it is, I'm not sure. Seems like it might provide good value in the future. I have the last breath abilities of the characters behind me. That sounds like it could get kind of great. Wait, when you summon or buy or summon an animal, I gain one health permanently? Uh, hello? That seems even crazier. You're a good animal. That's just, don't mind me. I'm just a good animal who, uh, you know, loves when other animals get murdered. But no, no, don't worry. I'm good, though. Is this treat? Ooh. 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 15 HP is going to get doubled, and then it's going to get doubled up to 60? Or is it is it not going to function in the same way that I hope? We'll have to see. Right now, so far, so fine, though. We, we win this battle. There's no... Honestly, I think we win this battle so hard that this person loses. This very real person that I'm fighting here. What is... Robin Wood? Oh, not quite. Not quite. But I'm excited. 60! I'm... I, um... This might be incredibly broken. I think I've ruined the game. I think I've found a combo that is, uh... A little bit ruinous. Which is pretty exciting. But also, I'm sorry, game. I didn't mean it. Okay. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I broke it big time. Oh, I should have gone online. Oh no. I'm uh by the time that it gets I want to take it, it's gonna be like impossible. Impossible to lose. It already feels like we the thing is we built a good team anyways, is the thing. But we we lost that. Okay, you know what? It's time to break out the big guns. And by that I mean we can we can deal with it with it one more time. I mean, we're just, uh, the, the consequence being, I guess, that we are, like, perma-locking our shop. But I'm not concerned about that fact. I, I do think that we are obviously falling behind right now, but it's going to be incredibly irrelevant in, like, five seconds. Oh, no. I feel like this maybe shouldn't be able to be done more than once. Like, obviously, the Celestial Tiger mixed with it. We've combined this stuff. Oh, per perfect. We didn't even take damage. We combine this stuff in a way that is, um... Alright, like, like, like one more time. <laughs> we, can be, we can have 10,000 health. <laughs> we, uh, we combine this stuff in a way that made it, um, even more noticeably broken. But, like, it's so funny. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take damage here, but we're not gonna die. And then we are going to purchase the thing that has 10,000 health. I'm sorry, game. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, video game. I don't think I need you. I will buy that. Wait. It's only for one turn, isn't it? Ah! Is that the catch? I think that's the catch. I think that's the catch. Who do we replace? Find out if... We'll find out. If this is truly... Do we want the animals? We, I think if we want the animals out if we're going to have the hungry, hungry hippocampus. But yeah, I think that we found the, the reason why it's... Like, it is, it is busted, but it's not like... Give your good characters my attack and health this brawl. Ooh. It's kind of fun. Give a character three health permanently. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm fishing for some kind of a, a a level up on one of our characters. Slay one gold. Yeah, it says next turn. Does it? It gives him the health next turn. Does it? Does it stay? That's gonna be the question. Oh no, I might lose, gang. The thing is, they are gonna gain any damage that they take. They're obviously not gonna die, so their their attack damage will go up. The question is, is this 15,000 HP going to reset? Because then we actually might have a might have a problem. Because obviously, there's no way in hell that anything could possibly lose this fight. It's just not applicable. Permanently double. Wait, permanently double. No, it's it's permanently double. Oh, nope. Nope, we broke it. Nope, we broke it. Uh, I mean, who cares about anything at this point? I'll do that so that we can, like, stack up our attack damage faster, I guess. But what am I looking for? Level ups, I guess? Give a character 10 health permanently? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I need that. I'm sure I need that. Uh, what do we got? So, this stuff is not going to get doubled. Three gold each turn. Your stop shop stops selling spells. Get an exact copy. 
I'm the first enemy character that dies. Now let's take that. The first character that dies on our team gets plus three, plus three. You know what? Let's like buy something and then lock this because I kind of want this cat, I guess. Yeah, I mean, again, nothing matters. This is broken. Like, this is functionally <laughs> ripped to smithereens. I... And we're fighting, uh, We and we lucked out, and since there's a, a odd number of characters here, we, we're fighting the... <laughs> we're fighting the, um... One of the ones who's, who's died. Yeah, normally it doesn't get this broken, but uh, hell yeah, I'm here for it. I mean, honestly, at this point, like, nothing nothing matters. I'm just going to do this to buy all this stuff out so we get new stuff in our shop. And then we're going to lock this one because that will give him 120 HP. And that sounds fun. Sounds fun to do. My goal is always to make the big number. I think that I mentioned in the beginning of the video that uh, some of the runs can get kind of broken. I don't think that uh, I've ever seen it this broken. And we the funny thing is, we could have... We, we locked this again, we would have been at 60,000. You know? That's so funny to me. Let's just keep doing it. First of all, I guess we want to... Uh, we want to do this like this so that we might possibly... Sure. And we'll lock it up. We might possibly get another another tree hint. Just for the funny. Just for the funny of it. And that like this character, of all characters to have this much health on. When I survive damage, I gain 10 attack this brawl. That's even funnier to me. Yeah, the, the sad thing for you is, Mr. Merlin, um, your board does look like it's kind of scary. But you're also very dead. Bye-bye. Uh, we can lock it one more time. <laughs> We're not going to kill him this time. I want another character with over a thousand health. Is that so bad? What the hell? Transform your characters into random characters one level higher. Okay. When I attack, first reduce the attacker's health to one. That, if I could have got that guy. Ooh. Ooh. He got one of my guys. He actually, he lucked out for a second there. That will make him take less damage. He's going to take a lot less damage as a result of that. Right? Yeah, he took seven. Is this a tree ant, technically? No. Oh, baby. Turn an evil character good. No. Fine. N not that it matters. Prevent all damage to characters behind me, except for when they are attacking. Why even? Now I guess it doesn't really matter if anybody's evil or good. So... Yeah. Lock the tree. I like how I'm I'm strategizing in any capacity right now as if it matters. Yeah, you you sh you should have switched to the uh, to the random team again. Not that he had the choice actually, of course. But there's a there's definitely believe it or not as as funny as this looks, as stupid and broken and incredibly broken as it truly is. There is a couple ways in this game that I do know 
that could actually beat this. There's a character that reduces somebody to a 1-1 one, one when they attack. Uh, there, there's, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the, the one that reduces the HP down to 1 when you attack. That one we, we just saw as well. So funny enough, there there's ways where you could actually solve this. Bernstein. Bernstein. Your other animals have plus two, plus two. When you summon an animal during a brawl, double its attack and health. That actually could have gotten really fun, too, with what we were doing. I mean, none of this matters. None of this matters. We're done. We're done here. We are... Unless they uh, truly luck out. And they randomize something. Nope. Oh, yes. Everybody ha everybody that you buy having plus one, plus one, I think will certainly stop you here. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Storybook Brawl. I did not mean to make you look so broken. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I shouldn't have stopped until we had 100,000. I shouldn't have stopped. Oh, my heavens. Oh, my man. I mean, obviously, yeah, we, we don't get any rating change or anything because we're playing against bots. But the sad thing is we could have done that against people, too. What are we, we're at 26 minutes? Well, let's see if we can, let's get a legit game in now. Sad Dracula. So there, there are some, so it is a free-to-play game. Like, you can totally play this completely free. And I think that um, you, you get enough stuff to, like, buy characters every, like, you know, decently frequently enough. Uh, but once you buy them once, you can pick them forever. There's always two that you can play for free, and honestly, the free ones... I think a couple of the free ones are some of the best ones anyways. It's just... Uh, that That is up front. That is the monetization model. Uh, I find it to be relatively relatively unintrusive, unintr to be quite frank. It's not too bad to me, but, every, you know, your mileage may vary. Your good characters have plus one, plus one. When an, one of your animals dies, give an evil character this brawl plus one, plus one. You know, let's try out Sad Dracula. Let's try out Dracula, but sad. Front row characters plus uh, slay. So when they kill someone, they get plus one attack permanently. Let's do this. Let's just get a freebie. I would have liked something else. When I buy a princess, transform me into a 5-5 five five frog prince. Okay. All right. No slay for me. Your front row characters have slay. Plus, plus, permanently. Dwarf, dwarf. You can roll for free there. Uh, okay. Kind of looking for a princess. Because that would be a... Uh, if we could get the 5-5 five five there, that would be a huge jump up. Does that count as a slay? Does that actually count? If you die. It does count. Hey. Oh, look. It's a tree ant. I'm trying to think if there's any... If there'd be any possible reason... This item seems so... I... <laughs> I don't have the thing that makes it happen twice, to be fair. Uh, so it's not nearly as, as broken as it would be right now, but it is still very broken. We could also skip and take two gold. Your animals have plus one, plus one, and are good. Not gonna take that, even though I could. Um, support plus three health. You know what? Sure. He's more likely to stay alive. He's more likely to get these uh, these slay triggers. Please go for him. Good. Okay, then we die here. So we're we're getting uh, we're getting a little bodied early here for sure. Getting a little bodied early. So you're technically... You are a good animal now. Last breath. Reduce the cost of a random character in your next shot by two. 
Get the character plus one, plus one. If you win this permanent, is this bonus is permanent. Let's go for it. I'll take the Billy Goat Graf. And I'll even take the flying. So what flying does is it attacks the back row first. So why not? Why the hell not? Okay, that does not count. So we have to initiate the attack for it to count as a slay. So that's why we're not getting quite as much uh, attack upgrades as you would maybe want. Want, want, want. Good support. Last breath, summon a 1-1 one, one cat. Fine. Plus one XP. Get plus two XP instead if you win the brawl. Eh. When I survive a brawl, plus two gold, last breath, give your opponent one gold. So it's very risky, but I actually think that that's pretty worth it. That's a lot of extra gold on average. Find three blind mice to get a level four treasure instead of a level two treasure. Say nah. All right. Nope. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, this is it's such a rough team. I, I for some reason I thought there was no way we were gonna. Ooh, we were gonna get bodied. Dang nabbit. Oh man. I thought our team was too strong. I mean, it's it was, but we gave them gold for whatever that's worth. Devour a character to gain experience. Slay, gain gold. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> buy this, and we, we might as well buy this so we can sell it next turn. Because, uh, the as I said, the money don't stay. Beauty! All right, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. I have you in the front because I want you to gain health, or gain attack damage. But it's, yeah, it's proving to be a bad idea. Uh-oh. It's certainly proving to be a terrible idea. All right, to the back with you. The good news is these are not real people, so <laughs> I don't have to feel bad about how stupid that was. Uh, to the back with you, to the back with you. When I attack, give the characters behind me plus three, plus three this brawl. Now that's a little bit more appealing here. Do I have, why are you, oh, because I technically do have somebody. Quest, I slay three enemies. Ooh, he spiked up to an 18, 13, let's go. Um, it's important to me that you slay the enemy so we can get that quest done. But I'm going to upgrade you, because when I attack, give the characters behind me plus three, plus three. Sounds exciting. Just trying to get more money. Wait, is it only the characters directly behind? So we, we should definitely readjust the positioning there. So we got one out of the three of the quests to get that new item. I mean, Frog Prince is killing it. And we actually, we actually get the two gold now. Thank God. Uh, when one of your good characters dies, give your good characters plus two this brawl. Plus two health. Sure. Is everybody good? Yeah, everybody's good, because we have the animals are plus one, plus one, and good. Good support, plus two, plus three. I mean, right now, that's just better than this one, but we'll keep that guy, because we might be able to make a treasure happen. Also, good animal that copies last breath effects behind me. That strikes me as a 
potential potential avenue to break the game. Not as hard as we did, but hard nonetheless. Okay, so that should be... Uh, we only need to kill one more to get that treasure. Cool. Free gold. Goodbye, Morgan Le Fay. Okay, we'll buy this. Get the treasure. When you lose a brawl, sacrifice this to gain three health and three gold. That seems bad. Characters in your shop have plus one, plus one. Seems okay. I mean, none of these are good, really. I don't think. Okay. Reroll what you got for me. Um. I don't know if I feel like locking this. Well, we, I guess we could sell if I'm not keeping you. For now. Well, you got anything cool? Another blind mice. Mouse. Oh, also the uh, the Shadow Assassin. Whenever one of your characters triggers a Slay ability. I... They have Slay... So that should, that should count. That should count. Okay. Boom. There, we got our quest. Right? Yes. Good, we did. We actually... I think we might lose this battle, though. No? Depends if there's any more funny business. No? We're good. Golden. Bye-bye, Merlin. Okay, so we got our quest. Uh, when one of your evil characters dies, irrelevant. Both characters. <laughs> Woof. Give the first character you buy each turn plus two, plus two permanently. That feels right to me. Sure. Survive damage five times. We could. Oh, it's a level level four treasure. That's big. When you buy a spell that costs two or less, cast it twice. When your first character dies, when one of your characters dies, gives the give the characters in its row plus one plus one to sprawl. I mean, it seems early enough to that this would be good. We can only hold three, so we should ditch one thing here. I say, I guess fairy tale. Oh man! Summon an exact copy of the slain character. I mean, that seems pretty crazy. Last breath, trigger a slay ability on one of your characters. Uh. <laughs> I just I just realized that the copycat would copy the uh, give your opponent one gold. It, it we would want to ditch this this if we went for the other thing here. Uh, we don't care really about the brave princess anymore. Are we looking for slay triggers, I guess? I guess maybe we are. I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright. Oh boy. This all seems scary. Ungood? Ungood. So we're ranged, so we actually can attack for 
free, basically. We can attack once for free, so I think we're act. No, we're not. We're not fine. Oh, but we we get we get a trade evenly. All right, I'll, fine. That's fine. I'll take that. We'll take a, a neutral. I'll take a neutral. If we're putting this, then we want to ditch the prized pig. I guess. Seems like a real like really good value over time though, but still, cast another random spell. Sure, let's have some fun. What do we, do? we bought this. Whatever. Alright. Ah, last breath summon a 2-2 two -two Papa Bear that summons a 4-4 four -four Mama Bear. This with copycat seems like an avenue for success. Right? Like... When one of your characters triggers the slay ability twice, I mean... Okay. This is wild. This is wild. This is goofy. This is very goofy. Support. Give the characters in front of me slay plus one, plus one permanently. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we uh, we have too much that we're juggling in the positional area for it to be solid. So, ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that. So we've, we've won this one. In fact, the fates are going to... Fates are dead. And then you went up to plus 10, plus 10. Is that, was that a permanent one? Permanent increase. Okay. Something like that, I guess. Upgrade you. We get a treasure as well. Uh, whenever your characters die, give the characters in the row, in that row, plus one, plus one, this brawl. I guess so. Last breath, give my attack and health to one of your characters, this brawl. That feels... Last breath, give my attack and health. That seems maybe arguably better here than this for now. Hopefully we can upgrade its attack and health in some way. What is this? Wombats in disguise. Last breath, summon a random level six character. Oh my God. So too much seems su super fun. I, I really, really, really want to try wombats in disguise. Because it summons a random level six. So if it would summon a random level six and so would the copycat then we would be in a wonderful spot. Okay. We... We've beefed it. Oh, you dying last is such a shame, man. Oh, such a shame. Such a shame. Lost value. Thank you. All right. When one of your characters triggers the slay ability, give it plus one, plus one permanently. That feels a little bit better. Is it relevant that our characters are good? I don't think so. I don't think it's relevant to us that they're good anymore. Um, triggers a slay twice. All right. All right. So this is a little bit better. You should, I guess, go in the front. No, you should go. You should go behind the white stag. But no, no. Ah. Um. 
Oh, beans. This is... This is some tough choices. Support plus three attack and double slay abilities. I don't really have slay... Wait. Does... Hold on. Is this true? Is this not happening anymore? Is that not happening anymore? I, I was under the effect... I was doing this... I mean, so you definitely... You guys definitely have slay. I was under the effect that you guys did have it. But maybe you don't. Technically. Maybe they technically don't have slay. Even though it's from this. So that went up twice. And then again. Okay, so there's a random level six. All right, I think we've got... We've started to get a little bit of a silliness factory going on. I think we've got our appropriate silliness factor. Okay. Because the thing is, that should be permanent, right? You... The Shadow Assassin is going to get out of control. They're going to be our value engine, theoretically. We'll think about what we're doing with that. Should get another one, I guess. There's no level three. You can just get a level two again, basically. Swallow a character to get plus ten, plus ten. Captain Croc with last breath summon the character I swallowed. Ooh. Wait. Wait, that seems broken. And also there's a copycat here that I'd like. That seems broken if we put that on one of these back here. Okay, so you killed him. But he still has a last breath anyway, so he's going to summon... He's not going to summon the three pigs because there's only one spot. But yeah, this... Uh, this slay trigger is going off the rails for sure. Not that it's going to matter. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's going to summon that, and then theoretically, wouldn't the copycat maybe summon the thing that he swallowed, which is the guy who summons the level 6? Is that really as... It seems like it might be some bonkers, 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 bonkers value. Uh... All right. Doesn't matter. We're going to win this one at this rate anyways. The online battles do have a little bit more. I just didn't want to... We wouldn't have the time to fit in a second one there. But if you guys are interested, we could we could play more of this with online battles. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bye-bye, Jax Giant. What is this? Last breath do four damage to all enemy characters. I mean that it's so it's simple, but it sounds nice as well. Uh slay plus one plus two permanently. I mean that could have been a, a good good ramp up engine as well. I don't know what I'm looking for. Give it your characters to attack this brawl. Give a character plus three plus three. I guess I'm just looking for something that will level up our guys, huh? Quest I deal 100 damage. And then you get a level 6 treasure, though. Plus 2, plus 2 for every spell you cast this game. Apparently, I've cast quite a few. Eh? Give the strongest enemy minus 15 attack and your weakest character plus 15 attack. Ah. Robin Hood. Gotcha. Okay. Um... It's worth going for that right now. Spells cost you two less. Your first character, your first character has plus ten health, so that that's them. 
whoever's in the upper left. When a character in the front row dies, give your characters behind a plus one, plus one. That doesn't seem great. I don't know how much I care about any of this, if I'm going to be real. I feel like the... Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, I kind of want to... As silly as it is, it sounds kind of fun to do that. I mean, this is lost value by having him there, but... That just sounds too funny. Having a second one, even though he's a 4-1, it doesn't matter if he's going to die right away. Wait. Wait, what happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it, unco is it uncopyable? Did we break it? Oh, it seems so good. To be fair, it would be unbelievably broken, but... Unfortunately, we have, uh, we have reverse broken it. We have oopsie, oopsie reverse broke it. Oh, no! We're gonna lose because of it! Oh, no! We oopsie reverse broke it. Didn't even realize. Okay, so we need a better last breath, then. Slay plus 20 plus 20 this brawl? I mean, that seems like a, the way to go. So we might be able to activate its slay trigger from back here. And I'm going to say that that's fine because I think that we are done ramping up. I think we don't need to care about the long-term growth anymore. I think that ship has sailed. Okay, so good boy. Good boy actually could have been a really fun way to go about this. Either way, I you know, we'll see. I think we're fine. I think we've got it. I think just readjusting that back into normalcy is going to be the way to go. If the cat dies, we should get the double trigger. Hopefully it'll be on... Nah, it was on them. I was hoping it was going to be on the Jormungand. Yeah. Eh, we're we're gonna be fine. We are, yeah, we are totally fine. We've got this. A little tighter than I'd like, though. Got to win one more, and it could go wrong. It really totally could. Uh, I sell for two gold. I guess maybe we should be buying those just to have on the bench, basically. could do that, I guess. I guess my hope was that we would get another Jormungand. Uh, friendly Spirit could have been a really fun route to go. I guess we're fishing for the Jormungand. Don't need another one of those. We can't level them up anymore. Eh. I mean, we can't buy the Jormungand even if we find it at this point. Yeah, I feel like Baby Bear is arguably the way to go, weirdly. Putting that here instead so that when the copycat dies, we just it's just more targets that they have to get through. Like Near the end of the game, that's really relevant, I think. It's just giving them more targets that they have to deal with. All right. I mean, this is the moment of truth. This is, this is the make or break. Okay. Okay. We get the super slay trigger there. Yeah, this is... Ooh, it's looking like it's going to be fine. Ooh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. Don't you dare. 
Don't you dare. Goodbye there, horde dragon. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> we ripped the game in half on that first run, and then we skirted by on a nice OP build on the second one anyways. Uh, but we're playing, obviously, we're playing against bots there uh, so that we can play really at our own pace because when we're playing online, like, it is a more engaging competitive experience, but there is a lot, obviously, there's a lot more waiting. You have to wait for everybody to uh, to do their actions and everything. It, it can take quite a bit longer. It would have been one one run, maybe. Uh, but, uh, hey, if you guys like this, we can definitely, we could definitely come back, play more. I've been playing a little bit off camera. It's just been a fun, nice time uh, for, it's, it's my suggestion is, like, who would play, who would want to play this? Anybody who's interested in Hearthstone Battlegrounds, but for whatever, for whatever reason, there's, there's a good handful of reasons why people do not want to participate in Hearthstone. This is a, a wonderful alternative, in my opinion, that is made by, made by a very small team and has some nice, interesting shakeups to the formula that after some balance patches and rough edge, rough edge sanding down... I would say that this is going to be a, a wonderful time. And it, for the low, low price of completely, literally free, uh, I think it's worth a try if it looks interesting to you, you know? Like, it's hard to hard to go wrong there. The monetization model, uh, I don't find to be too, like, I don't find to be too bad. Like, it's not like you, you don't need to build a, pay for cards to buy a deck or anything like that. If there's some, if there's some hero that you think seems way stronger than others, just buy that one, you know, like, boom, you don't have to ever buy one again. It's just like, uh, you get a pick between a couple. Like, that's that's maybe the, the sticking point with some people is like, ooh, the monetization model. But I remind you that the game is free and it's not hard to get. It's not hard to get the currency to get the other characters. And honestly, a lot of the ones that you get for free, it seem like they're the best ones anyways. But alas, that is that. That is going to do it for today. This has been Storybook Brawl. I hope you guys enjoyed the video here. Uh, make sure to check out my channel. I put up videos on indie games every single day. I will throw them at your face, and you can see if you like them. <laughs> so subscribe, like, and comment. Those are actually genuinely ways to help out with this channel right here. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.